Welcome back to the Duck Call Room, ladies and gentlemen. We are here for another, I hope, fun-filled episode. I don't really know. I'm, we never know. I could look at our script like those guys over at Unashamed do, but we don't have one of those. So. They don't have a script. They have an No, they got an outline, though. They, they, actually, outline. they actually put in pre-work. We just come in here, <laughs> shoot the bull for about five minutes, say, Hunter, you ready? So They have a plan. They do have a plan yeah. for if it all falls okay. apart, but we just kind of roll with and it. And that's why they win awards. I will say, look. The bug has gotten me. What bug? The thief bug. The thief. So bug. it's coming for everybody, apparently. Oh, Martin. Uh, got- I said before we got talking, I wasn't going to talk about this because I let's just go mad. down the road. Yeah, I don't really care to go down it because it's gotten me to a place I've never been to in life, and I'm not going to discuss that because YouTube will flag us and probably so with other podcast apps. But that's fine. I'll talk to it about account with a counselor at some point. I'm sure. <laughs> Y'all, but, Martin's um, mad. Very mad. I, I'm very <laughs> mad because. I put a camera out in plain sight to let so this, he would know. Let the guy yeah. know you got us. We see you. Now leave. Nope. Just keeps coming back. But he saw the camera. He saw. He made he, eye contact. I sent you the video. Hey. You can send the video to Hunter. I, he, let's put it. Let's. Have you seen the video, Stone? No. I no. now have all of my trail cameras that I use every year deployed for deer and ducks, trying to. Just get more video of one stupid idiot who I'll give him this. If he had a job, he would probably be a very good employee because he shows up every night. <laughs> you can count on him. He comes to work. Huh. Like he is legitimately there yeah. every night. Undeterred. But he comes, he shakes the door, he leaves because now the door is chained shut. So, sir, if you for some reason listen to this, if you know I doubt who you're messing you do. with. But maybe you're one of the ones in our inbox in the emails. This life is just falling apart. If not, it's about to, buddy. <laughs> well, yeah, just the, leave. And the worst part is he's he's dumb enough to keep coming back, but he's smart enough to cover his face. So we can't really. You blasted him out. Well, the problem there's is there's no way to really tell. The problem is he's going to do like that one old boy. I think we talked about this, but he's going to end up getting a sunroof where that ball cap sits is what's going to happen. Ain't going to be by me because you know what? You done got everything in there of value. All right, let's see. Yeah, look. Let's see here. Right, look, it out. You can see the moment. Oh, whoops. Uh-oh. That's the end of the video. Oh, there he oh, is. There he is. is. Look. So he glances up there. Oh, he's a fine looking physical specimen. He sees the camera. He's got. He's looking at the camera right now. Ready? So I go back. Let me go touch the door. Oh, wait. There's a blue light on on the camera. That's why I did this. He gone. <laughs> All right. No, this was on the 16th. Yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. And does he come back after this? Stone, today is the 17th. He was there at 1.30 this morning. So he saw the camera and then decided, I'm going to walk back up there and try it again. Yeah. Maybe it won't be on tomorrow. And he did it again. Look at them beady little eyes. And I don't know what kind of desperado you think you are, bro. <laughs> yeah. But that little two speed you're riding on ain't a horse. <laughs> he said yeah. And that backpack that backpack ain't bulletproof. Like you gonna end up messing with the wrong person's stuff and you're gonna die over this. That's yeah. not a good thing. Turn your life around, bro. Come to work here. I I'd love to have people show up every day. Come put an application in. <laughs> I mean, we don't need a night shift anymore, but you at least show up every day. Yeah. Mm. He said he shows up every day. Like, my goodness, man. Unbelievable. But that's where I'm at. So y'all right. see Duck Call Room listeners, you know, whatever. If you know that cat, you don't know him. Nobody knows him. He's been doing this for over a year. Multiple videos and wherever he lives or whatever he does, he avoids capture and arrest. So hmm. um, he's just decided to make us his next target. Um Wait. Huh? He's riding a bike? Yeah. Like a motorbike or just a bike? No, a bicycle. Two wheel drive. Two wheel two two wheel drive. Two foot drive. Two foot drive. Yep. Man powered. It's over in the bushes. But like I mean, I've got so many spy points just littered across the property. I got every angle of him you want. I got everything but his social security number and date of birth. Like <laughs> Can bro, we get his fingerprints? They fingerprinted it, but he the apparently that tin with the humidity you know it catches humidity and kind of washes off every day but apparently when he gets inside or when he was inside he had gloves on because they found like the smudge marks and like you know all that kind of stuff so buddy i hate to break it to you short of cutting a hole in that shop now you cannot get in it 
you're going to have to bring a side grinder and cut a hole in the shop. You will not get in it anymore. Boy, Neither I can you. I. <laughs> but Ain't nobody getting you Martin, won't either. Martin can't like, even get to his own stuff. I'm not even going to remember all the steps it took to get it to where it is. But you, ha- it's a very elaborate system where you have to start in order. You're you're in trouble. Like you, I hope I don't need nothing out of there in a hurry. Let's put it that way. So that's the walk of shame. There, he'd been caught. Yeah, but he and then care. oh, but last night he was going to be slick. He come back in a dark colored shirt last night. Uh-huh. Same shoes, same backpack, same. He come from the same direction. Same direction. Same hat. Same hat. Everything. I'm, same tattoos. I'm trying to identify the hat. <laughs> Boy, criminals have. Sir, become you're you're going the wrong direction. Bold. Change. For some reason. Change your life and. Hey, our buddies over. Oh, I knew what direction. At the other tackle shop in town, they got three reels cut off just like we did the other day. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, saw they post out. They got better cameras than us. So yeah. Bravo to them. But apparently, y'all's got found. I don't know if theirs has or not. Well, but, we're in discussion. Oh, so you been to y'all? Don't team? steal reels. We'll all come after you. Yeah. Well, don't steal <laughs> anything. <laughs> yeah, like this What's old that? boy. What do you need? You need twenty dollars? You need fifty dollars? Just come ask me for it. Well, the problem. We can come up with a trade. More than likely, if you're bold enough to to what are we four nights in a row? Yeah, you, you're probably not in the right headspace. No. And the Washtenaw Parish Sheriff's Office has the access to my spy point account. So last night they were there within three minutes. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. If you're listening, buddy, you better run quick. You better. That was a pretty clear video of that. Yeah, I mean they're good uh-huh. camera. I point. Well, like, I, I need to get some of them for the store. <laughs> <laughs> Our cameras are kind of rough. Well, they're motion activated, so you're going you're gonna to run through a lot of memory cards if you keep that yeah. up. But, no, I did. I switched it. I got all the pictures, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to throw this guy a bone. I'm going to put it in video mode because I know a little blue light comes on when you do it. You sent a warning shot. I just said, maybe he'll see the blue light, which he did. Oh, he saw he knew he was recorded. And he came just, back. Just leave. But then I swapped it back to picture mode. I was like, well, that stupid idiot ain't coming back. He obviously made eye contact with it. So let me go back to photo mode so I don't use up all my memory card. Nope. There he was. Mm. And I woke up at 4 o'clock this morning to a text from the sheriff. Said, we almost were in time. Mm. I mean, that's what, I just gave him my email and my login. I was like, here you go, bro. That's crazy. There you go. Is it just me or have criminals become a lot more bold than they used to be or desperate or i don't know what their problem is well i can tell you what the problem is not enough consequences they go sit in jail for 48 hours and they're let out we start lopping their hands off like they used to in the (laughs) old days all of a sudden wiggling that door gonna be a lot harder it's harder to do i'm just saying size waving a knife in there but the (laughs) problem is you know if they do catch him and this cat hears me say this now i can probably go be in trouble for saying lop his hands off Better than what I'd do to him, but that's neither here nor there. Maybe just digress. A, one finger at a time. <laughs> yeah. My, yeah. No, you need to get rid of the thumb for sure. Yeah. Turn him into a dog. They ain't Law, lawbreakers. Yeah. Get rid of the, the thumb. The lawless. Yeah. Not many consequences going around these yep. days. No. And, well, but the problem is there is one big one coming for him if he keeps that up. They call it judgment. Yeah. And I, I hope... <laughs> That's not something to laugh about. It's the saddest part. Yeah, like, we kind of joke about it, but that is, like, yeah. one day, if you run around stealing from people, you're going to have to look at the creator of the universe in the face and say, well, what'd you do a lot of while I was down there? Well, I stole other people's stuff because I didn't want to get off my butt and earn my own. Yeah. I can remember when I was a kid coming up when I, I, I witnessed another kid smart off to our teacher. Now, this is not his mama or his daddy. This is his third grade teacher she immediately napped, whipped him up by the back of his neck walked him to the front of the class got out a paddle and tore his butt up in front of everybody in front of the class that's it guess what nobody else smarted off to that teacher <laughs> that's what i'm saying a lot of times, did that again. <laughs> all you got to do is make an example out of oh. one of them well god bless educators and yeah. law enforcement oh, these yeah. days yep. yeah but how in the world can they effectively do, do their job? I don't know. Oh, I don't a, know how they do it. There's a new video every day of kids like just, it, it's the craziest thing, but they're just not, not even trying to obey their teachers in school. And, oh, no. and then the other kids are over there filming it like some dummies. Yeah, filming it. You and, can't do nothing about it. And you can't do nothing. 
Yeah, I wouldn't be able to. Well, look at how the cop would have to come and arrest if it happened today. Oh, I know it. Oh, yeah, if they okay. did that today. You paddle a kid. When school, I was going growing up, listen to this. When I was growing up, if you acted up in the neighborhood, not only would you, you'd get your butt tore up by the, the, the neighbors. That's right. Oh. Well, you told They'd me. whoop your butt, okay, and then the first thing they'd do was call your parents and say, hey, I just caught your son acting a fool, and I tore his behind up. Mm -hmm. And then Well, what guess happened? what happened when you got home? Same you, thing. Dad got his belt out and tore your behind up again. After even, you was already so Even worse. Yeah. Yeah. It back. yeah. And gave it to you twice as worse as his neighbor. Get your butt whipped all the way to the house. Hey. Well. That was just the way things were. I guarantee you that boy ain't toted one in a while. Yeah. But I sure like to give him one. But let's take a break. <laughs> we'll be back right after this. Oh, Si, you look well rested. Hey, I am well rested. He's yeah. always well rested. Right. But why is that? Because I sleep on a helix mattress. Helix, once. baby. I like guarantee. a cloud. You didn't even know how good you could sleep till I'm two and a half you. years right. ago, did you? That's right. He had to take that test. Wiry old man sleeps real hard on his back 18 hours a day, and they picked out the perfect mattress for him. Yeah, I guarantee you. <laughs> you got to get your beauty rest, boys. <laughs> That's why I'm so beautiful. You fine. You a fine figure of a man. I'll yeah, give you that. F -F -O -E. Yeah. Miss Christine loves it too, don't you? F -F you got it. I guarantee you. Look, Helix Sleep is a premium mattress brand that provides tailored mattresses based on your unique sleeping preferences. They got 20 unique mattresses, including the all award winning Lux Collection, a mattress for big and tall sleepers. So, for there those you of you go. that identify yeah. as me, that's yeah. a cool thing. <laughs> Look, and even a mattress made just for kids, that's coming up for me. That's so, it. Yep. I like that. Yeah. I mean, you, whatever stage you're in in life, they got you covered. Mm -hmm. So, uh, now Helix is bringing their most premium mattress yet with the Helix Elite Collection. Every Helix Elite has a built in cooling cover, thousands of supportive coils, dual cushioning layers. And even lumbar support for a truly elevated sleep experience. Look, if you want to know which one of the Helix mattresses fits you, just go in there, take the quiz. It's two minutes long. You'll be done. You'll get matched with a mattress. And the cool, you're ordering your mattress. You're not ordering mine, not ordering Giant D's, not ordering size, not ordering stones. But it's mine's yours. legit. It's a soft, fluffy cloud that just, ooh. Yeah, if you like to be wrapped up in a mattress while you sleep, go hop in John Davis' bed. If you're like me, I'd rather sleep on my option of sleeping on the floor is better than that for me, but that's that's what's so cool. Because that's why you, you take the quiz. That every because everybody's unique. We all sleep different. Look, that's why Helix has several different mattress models to choose from. Each designed for specific sleep positions and field preferences. Helix has models of memory foam layers, models more responsive foam to cradle your body, enhanced cooling features, keep your overheating at night, and if your spine needs some extra TLC, they got you. Every Helix mattress has a hybrid design, combining wrapped steel coils in the base and foam layers at the top to give a perfect combination of comfort and support. Johnny D still on the moonlight luck, mm. right? Mm -hmm. I guarantee you. I love it. <laughs> I can't, can't wait to go to bed tonight. Can't get off of it. Look, if you got questions about Helix, they'll give you 100 nights. If you want to send it back, send it back, but you ain't going to. You're going to get tonight like 300 and be like, man, how long have we had this thing? It's the best mattress we've ever slept on. Look, set up fast and easy. You ain't got to take our word for it, though. Look, they've been awarded the number one mattress pick by Wire Magazine. It's even recommended by multiple leading chiropractors and doctors of sleep medicine as a go-to solution for improving your sleep. Plus, they're all American-made and come with a 10- or 15-year warranty, depending on which model you get. So right now, if you want to take advantage of this, you can. Helix is offering 20% off all mattress orders and... Two free pillows for our listeners. Go to helixsleep.com slash Doug. This is their best offer yet, and it won't last long. With Helix, better sleep starts now. Go to helixsleep.com slash Doug. How do you get uh, that tether up on that bike? I'll fix that. Yeah, I don't know. I just found the drag marks over there in the bushes. Where he drug it. Yeah. Drug the tines. and He ain't far. He ain't far. Oh, well, he's, I, a, he, oh he's a neighbor. I'm I'm about half convinced he got somebody picking him up, picking the loot up too. Oh yeah, because <laughs> of what he, you know, he's he, got an accomplice. Well, because he seems to, every time yeah. he goes to leave, he reaches yeah. in his pocket like he's going for a cell phone or something to let somebody yeah. know either, hey, come get me or you know, it yeah. just is. Well, he may be calling somebody, hey, to come get me out of the caboose. Yeah, well, the jailhouse. Hmm. Oh. The caboose. Yeah. No, next next phone call he gonna make's gonna be the Mulherns. Uh oh. Mm. No, I'm kidding. Oh, we're rolling. <laughs> no, they got that's a flower yeah. shop. 
Uh, <laughs> you know, it just amazes me. <laughs> that was two things that you'd get your butt tore up for at my house when growing up. Flowers. Lying and stealing? Hey, lying and stealing. Oh. And tearing up. You got your butt tore up. And look, when you were stealing, oh, you, mama put the, she put some, you know, some muscle in to when you, you know, stealing. What about poaching? Oh, hey, poaching was in. <laughs> well, they ate them. That, yeah. But hey, that, That's right. that was for live fruit, like pecans and yeah. whatever. Well, look, if that man okay. was coming over to the garden to get him a handful yeah. of tomatoes yeah. and peas yeah. and stuff, yeah. that's he's, fine. Go he's ahead. Hungry. Pick you on. Yeah. I don't care. Go ahead. We got plenty of them out there. Mm. My brother faced this when he was commercial fishing. Okay. They would run his nets. He didn't mind them running his nets, but they didn't know how to reset them. That's what made him mad. So that's what made him mad, okay? I don't mind you getting fish because he just finally told them, you know, he caught them. You know, they got the net in the boat getting the fish out. Gosh He's, almighty, I would not want to be caught taking fish. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> He's no. got that 16-gauge no, no, no. brownie. Gosh almighty. I think say, don't forget that part about him having that shotgun on Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, he's got that 16 automatic brownie yep. loaded. Mm. Okay, and talking to these boys, said, hey, here's, here's the deal. Pointed at him. Yeah, and he's got it pointed at him. He said, "Here's the deal." I wonder what Phil. He said, "Look, tonight. look like somebody's having a fish fry." He said, "How many people you got coming?" And they're both just, you know, deer in headlights. <laughs> he said, "Hey, I asked you a question. You got a fish fry going on somewhere?" He said, "How many people you think is gonna show up?" You know, and they finally uh, 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 ten. Yeah, he said, "Well, let's see now." You know, so he throws about fifteen fish in the bottom of their boat. You know, and he said, ah, let me throw you five more extra because when you start frying fish, somebody's going to show up that you didn't figure it's coming. You know, so I asked him, I said, well, how, how's that going? You know, he said, oh, no. But he told them boys, he said, hey, here's the deal. Don't run my nets. If you want some fish, you come up here and knock on that door, and I'll come down here and get you a mess of fish because you don't know what you're doing. You're costing me money. You know? mm -hmm. So he literally killed them with kindness. And they stopped stealing from it. Killed them with kindness with a yeah. gun pointed in their general vicinity. Well, well, okay. that was, well, that was right, just you know. in case they wanted to choose violence. You yeah. Know? Some days well, you wake uh, up and choose violence. Yeah. We can have well, a. Well, it was Phil's line. He said, well, I'd rather give them a Bible study, but if they want a gunfight, right. I'm ready for that. Well, too. Right. Yeah. You know, yeah. you got you to gotta draw a line in the sand somewhere. Yeah. 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 I've heard Phil say it. He said, I'm prepared to either share Jesus or introduce him to him. Yeah. That's either right. one. Hey, either I'm way. A, I'm equipped for either. <laughs> yeah. Either way. <laughs> yeah. And I always kind of chuckled, not really, you know, knowing how that felt. I know how that feels now because I'm like, yeah, I'm the same way. Which one you want to do, Hammer? It's on you. Well, it, it, Dealer's it, choice. Here's the thing. <laughs> you know, you know, I can see if you're filthy rich. But most people have to work for a living. Yeah. And they work hard for what they get. Guarantee you. And then you got some idiot, okay, come stealing their stuff. Yeah, he ain't Robin Hood. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the sad yeah. part is there there's not many of them left on earth. Well, no. I'm yeah. talking about the people that work hard well, for no, a living. Well, no, no, yeah. Yeah, because everybody now is, hey, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. That's right. Yeah. I just don't understand why you work so hard at night to take somebody else's stuff that you get less money for it. Did yeah. You just went to work. Yeah. These days, you'd make $15, $20 an hour. That's more than you're going to get for the stuff you're yeah. pawning. And not oh, only yeah. that, then you're risking, okay, running up on some guy that, hey. And you ain't got to be up all night. You, you can know, go to bed. You, you yeah. might run up on somebody that just, hey, he's about half crazy and just go ahead and decide, well, hey, I'll break this up and stop it right now. Boom. And hey, then you're gonna be going to the Undertaker. Yeah, the be put in the ground. Oh, the real one. Yeah. Okay. This. Yeah. This. You run up. Hey, there's some crazy people out there. He turning me into one of them. Yeah. But yeah. you know, it I'm is just saying. What it is. <laughs> you know, you're putting yourself <laughs> at risk. The lack of sleep on top of the twins, on top of everything else, he turning me into one. No, of them. no. Oh yeah. Because well, every just... time that phone goes off at night with my trail cameras, I'm like, oh man. Well, there's, there's. I don't know why I keep checking because now the sheriff's department got it. I ain't got to check no more. They the ones. Yeah, but you want to know. Yeah. I do, and I really low key want to watch him get him. Because now you're now it's under your skin because he's doing you dirty. Oh yeah, he's basically every time he looks at that camera, he's giving me two middle fingers, mm -hmm. which is a disrespect yeah. of all disrespect. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, which is why I stay away from there because I'm not sure what I'd do if our paths crossed. <laughs> well, you know? hello, friend. Yeah, it wouldn't be that. I'm, and I'm not sure I'd start with First Corinthians 15. 
You'd say, you well, have a fish fry tonight? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's one then of them deals about, hey, yeah. look, it's one of them deals about, hey, look, yo, uh, how far are you going to push me? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you because know, I remember in high school, okay, you know, my father used to tell me all the time, hey, you're going to run into the bullies, and the only way, I, I don't want you to do it, but the only way you're going to stop him is you're going to stand up and go ahead and get it on and end this right now. Well, that's where this is at. That's you right. just keep on pushing the button here, and hey, one of these days I'm gonna blow up on you. Yeah, I'm gonna end up like Burley. I'm gonna end up over there in Stone's Jiu Jitsu class for anger uh, management. Yeah, for anger <laughs> yeah, management. I'm, I'm gonna have to go over there and let somebody else choke me yeah. out for anger management. Yeah, yeah. You know, <laughs> Stone, don't worry. I won't throw you into the wall though. I ain't, I ain't strong enough to pick you. Up. I appreciate. <laughs> I ain't strong enough to pick you up and go stumbling into the oh, wall. Don't worry about oh, that. I, I just now recovered. From we all we all keep that. everything on the ground as far as I'm concerned. So, oh, well, well, but I also ain't gonna make it three or five minutes either one. I don't know which one it is, but I ain't making either. So, uh, it's uh, five. Yeah, no. Sometimes eight. Yeah, nope. Mm -mm. Not even a little bit of a chance. <laughs> <laughs> I'm speaking of Burrow, he's he's back in town this week. Yeah, had a new blind build, uh, Si. Yeah, I've seen it. It looks great. You went down there and saw it? Oh, no, he showed it. He's got a picture. I showed him a picture. So we had the best duck hole on the property. Also had the worst yeah. duck blind. I, I made it. I welded together a metal frame, and we put it in, in a mound. You're a welder? A dark, yeah, I welded. Yeah. We measured it. The, yeah. the, you, you, you built a duck blind that was a foot and a half wide. Oh, well, well I mean, I just... Hey, that ain't back, his fault. No, no, back. Yeah, no, no, back. <laughs> I can day, guarantee you that was Phil's instruction. Just no, no, give me, give me. Give me yeah. I, I needed to hold a. Look, uh, we went, we went. Okay, from building a duck blind to catwalk. It, well, it was not a duck blind. We put three duck blinds together. This was a hotel. Okay, we're not Phil, talking about the same one, are we? Oh no, no. Well, it used to be on the lake. We had a duck blind, three of them. Okay, it had sleeping quarters, kitchen, the whole nine yards. Phil said, "Hey, it's so big they won't think it's a duck blind." So we went from <laughs> big is better. Okay, then we got down to okay, putting like two fours and just one board to sit on. Right. Okay, the smallest you can have, you can see through it. No, and, no, that's yeah. a lie. He always put two boards to sit on. <laughs> he put one to stand on. That way, a size thirteen had just as much hanging off each end. Right. Yeah. yeah. And if you wasn't careful, you went out yeah, the front. That's right. of it. Yeah. Did that. That's but when. Anyway. That's when y'all went through that phase where y'all thought y'all were invisible. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's when we went through yeah. the phase of we need 180 of them, even though we yeah. can only hunt 60 days. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no. You have said, to hunt one. Everywhere three. we've seen a duck light, we put hey, one of them two oh, I know. Uh, that pipeline is, <laughs> yeah. is 12. <laughs> that pipeline is 1,200 yards <laughs> <In> tall, <a, laughs> and we got 800 yards of, of two by 12. Yeah. In a straight line. Yeah. Yeah. In a straight line. Everywhere. It's, it's a sheer Everywhere a duck lit, madness. we put a blind. Mm. Okay. <laughs> It's lunacy is yeah. what it is. Hey, well, That's hey, the way yeah. that dog used to be. You yeah. could shoot from blind to blind. Yeah. You'd have to get the blind in between you if you didn't want to get peppered by your other people. <laughs> oh, there's 72 duck blinds. On in 60 property. days. On, yeah. on that property. 60 days. Yeah. The math don't work. You know how many duck blinds we hunted last year? <laughs> about, Four. About seven, probably. Eight. Yeah. Eight. Yeah. You go to the same spots. You go to the M. You go to Cypress Lake. You go to the lake. You go to the lane. You go to the pipeline. You go to the <laughs> yeah. privet hole. That's right. And then every now and then you'll walk off in the bushes. Somewhere. That's right. Just stand in the water. No, we yeah. don't do that no more. Well, yeah. no, they done got old. Yeah, everybody done got long in the two. Yeah. <laughs> Instead, Jason just go paddle around for two hours and come back with some wild tale about a mythical uh, creature. Yeah, I jumped this ten point and we got about five feet from him and <laughs> I just my gun walk. locked up on me. And, you know, <laughs> But then he failed. He, he does have some stories. I oh, guarantee boy. you. I wonder where he gets it from. Right. I wonder. Anyway, let's take another break. We'll be back. <laughs> si, how many online subscriptions do you have that you forgot about? All of them. Hey, look, I don't go online. I know. And that's, this, you that's, know. That's my wife's department, boys, is going online which is why miss christine has rocket money to make sure that you don't yeah. sign her up for nothing when people actually call your house and you answer which is very rare i know but That's you know right. 
you do have that Robertson tendency of just saying yes seven times until people are hanging up. That's so right. um, there's no telling what you sign up for. And as it hits you for seven dollars a month, Miss Christine's like, "Sir, what's going on here?" I mean, Johnny D paid for Colorado high school football for forever. For years. For I'm, years. Watched one game. Forgot. I got a it. notification the other day about you're about to get two hundred and twenty dollars charged by Amazon. This looks like a recurring deal, and I'm like, "Yeah, that's really." Paid. Yes, that's baby formula, and Uh-oh. we get it every two weeks. Oh, so that makes if sense. You, if you ever want to know how expensive twins are to raise that are growing, strapping young boys, rocket money even. So I, I thought it would be kind of cool like if I could tell them, like, no, man, it's just my twins. But I just, you know, hit the approve, and everything's good to go. But it is cool that they're always looking out for you. Look, we've all been – we've all fell victim to it. Try it free for 30 days. You forget about it. You don't even think about it anymore because generally they used to be such a small fee. You didn't really miss three, four dollars a month. Now they've all got the premiums and you start losing twenty dollars a month and you're like, OK, what's the problem here? But that's where our friends over at Rocket Money help. They help find the forgotten subscription so you can stop paying for the ones that you don't use. And if you think it, oh, I probably only have 50, 60 bucks. The actual average is around two hundred dollars per person in the United States in subscriptions. That's wild. That's mm. crazy. Yeah. And I got to be honest, I'm border. Well, I'm guilty of that in formula, but that's not really a subscription. We we only own two months left of that, thank God. But you know, the cool thing is, if rising prices are stressing you out, Rocket Money can help you save money and help you. It helps you show you how to cut costs. So look, Rocket Money is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending, and helps you lower your bills all in one place. Over eighty percent of people have subscriptions they forgot about, and chances are you are one of them. Like that Stars app just to watch one show or that free gaming trial you never actually use. Rocket Money will quickly and easily find your subscriptions for you. And for any you don't want to pay for anymore, just hit cancel. You ain't got to stay on hold. You ain't got to do all that mess. One click, you're done. It's over. They cancel it for you. Rocket Money also helps you manage all your finances in one place and automatically categorize your expenses. So you can easily track your budget in real time and also get alerted if anything looks off. Over 3 million people have used Rocket Money, saving the average person up to $720 a year. That's another paycheck or two, depending on where you're at. I mean, that's wild. Stop throwing your money away. Cancel unwanted subscriptions and manage your expenses the easy way by going to rocketmoney.com slash duck. That's rocketmoney.com slash duck. Rocketmoney.com slash duck. One more time. Old Burrow, he uh he come to class again, to come to jiu jitsu class again. And uh I was had been getting over the I don't know, I told you I had that vid last week. The what? Uh, the vid. Oh. oh. Oh yeah. Don't say the whole thing. No, I'm over it now. I've been it's been a while. It's been at least three days. Yeah. So uh but anyways, Burrow come in there and said, Ah oh. he said, Oh Stone, you ain't gonna wrestle tonight. I said, No. I said, I ain't gonna I ain't gonna wrestle you tonight, but I got this woman over there that would love to get around in with you. She's 140 pounds soaking wet. That's right. <laughs> and mm. that was the ultimate anger management. She whooped Burl? Oh, no, oh, yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't say I wouldn't classify that. Now, when a when a woman that that is trained in jujitsu, a good I'm talking about purple belt or higher. And you know it when she gets you to the ground, and you don't know anything, you're done. I don't care <laughs> how big and strong you are, but I'll give it to Burrow. He he, he wasn't going to take it easy on her. But most, t- most people are like, when you get in there with a woman, you, you don't use your man strength. You know, you try to work your technique. Burrow's like, no, this woman ain't going to whip me. <laughs> and, and he, I'm talking about bulldogged her, which is a big no no. And then he got tired of going. Yeah. And then after he gassed out at about two and a half minute mark, he just kept getting arm locked over and over and over. <laughs> and he said, yep, this is real good for my anger, boys. <laughs> real good for it. I've always said hey, I'll fight 10 men. But I will tell you this. One woman? No. Oh, you're right. Especially a woman that nope. knows how to fight. Oh no! I, but that same woman whoops me all the time too, so I can't say nothing. And she's a good-looking thing too. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy! Yeah, uh, she's easy on the eyes, boys. Not if you can't see. Uh, well, I'm just saying. Hey. <laughs> not if you go going unconscious. <laughs> oh man! 
That's what I need. I need to have her just stroll up down there about 12 o'clock. That old boy probably start hitting on her or something. And next thing you know, I get to watch him get choked oh, no. out. Oh, yeah. Oh, it would happen. Hey, she done, she done, she and done then done I pee. get to come up there like Chris Tucker on Friday. Hey. Yeah. She had done turning him into a pretzel. You just you got know. choked out. Yeah. Yeah, turn him into a pretzel. He's laying on the floor, all tied up. Give me my tiller. Yeah, with his, give me with my his arm back. and legs. <laughs> oh, oh man! Now Orlando was fun. You missed a good time, so si. it was. We ate a lot of sushi. Were you going to Orlando? No, no, he I've didn't go to ICAST. That's just where I had to be. I got to go. You should have been there. You the fishing person. No, I just watch it from home. Yeah, you just text me and say, "What do I need?" Yeah, what, 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 <laughs> that what? saves me money, and I could still be at work and just. What watch was you all doing down there? A fishing event? Yeah, it was deal with working with Rapala. They released oh, okay. the new, their new line of soft. Okay. Baits, oh, so. Crush City Martin. Crush City, baby. Crush City is actually cool. It's cool to see energy back in the outdoors because it's been pretty dead at those trade shows for a while but they predict projected like nine hundred thousand packs of those things to be sold and at the show they booked 1.6 million does that mean i'm not Ooh. gonna get my 500 no you get it <laughs> they ain't even started producing them yet that's how fast they can turn them out oh so, i like that yeah martin if martin gonna put his face on a bait well your face ain't on it, mm -mm. Is it? you just nobody's face is on nobody's it. face but my good buddy jacob wheeler signature is yeah but, so, but, but you, what you you, you, you stand like? behind it oh yeah they work and so I've, I've I had them. to order them. Yeah. There's uh, five different styles right now. So like three swim baits, a uh, Ned bait. I guess there's six, yeah, because you got a, a crawl and a um and a bug. So just your standard bass stuff. Oh, okay. But not your standard <clears throat> bass stuff, but pretty common shapes. It was fun, though. I saw old Galdwin down there. Oh, Galdwin? Galdwin got a jersey. I love it. I don't understand fishing jerseys. Yeah, I don't either. <laughs> I was going to get one made that said not everybody needs a jersey. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of like, kind of like NASCAR, I guess. Yeah, yeah. it really is. That's just is. a place to put your sponsor. Well, I was just like, Galvin, do you, you really want to walk around here and more people know who you are? You like, that's not the problem we have at this show. Like Our problem is getting from point A to point B on time. It's just, which is a really cool thing, because now it's going from we love Duck Dynasty to we love Duck Call Room. Like, and it's like, oh, man, look at there. One old boy just said he drove straight through here the other day with he's a kayak fisherman. I said, Well, you need to holler at John Dave. I think he did. I was, I was, it was, he was there on Saturday, so I didn't yeah. get to meet him. Yeah, that's him, probably. Yeah, had two of them and mm -hmm. had live scope and everything else on his, too. I, I said, a, You need to holler at John Dave. That's a fancy rig. Yeah, hey, speaking of, I need you to get your rig back to Willie's Pond. Deal. And find those crappies for me. Okay. The crappies have gone AWOL. Well, they're probably over at Jace's. <laughs> missing no. their skin and he their ribs. got 1600 of them oh never mind no that's a they've problem. gone AWOL. We, we you, put, you can't find them can, i can't find them of course oh. i ain't hunting for them too hard but they're not under the bridge where they normally are yeah oh. and if they're not under the bridge and they're brand new so you know they're gonna bite oh they're out there on that brush top yeah well there i got about eight brush tops uh, yeah more oh, he's done he's done up the game here boys so get your crappie rig and locate the crappies <laughs> and call him <laughs> so i can i can tell the boss man where the crappies are or yeah. we just keep it between us <laughs> no i ain't doing that no he can't, can't do that he and, ain't my boss uh, anymore just, he can't do that and just drop I'm some just off messing. hey man i caught a few i figured you'd want some here you go yeah drop they're not under the bridge that's weird i mean i'm sure there are a few there yeah I'll but i fished them. it pretty hard and i did not get a bite well i got one bite didn't catch it i probably won't be able to till sunday that's fine but well, yeah, no. Well, I'll come over and I'll I'll help you. You ain't getting the kayak with Johnny D. We'll yeah. film it. Oh, that would yeah. actually be hysterical. I'm in on Although that. I'm a little nervous hey. about him in the front and me in the back. And oh, he pretty sick. No, I'm a good fisherman. A uh, hook to the forehead. When are we gonna do this? I don't know. Soon. Sounds right. like a date. I'm in. You well, call, right call me. Call me and tell me when you want me. I can have it there in two seconds. Yeah. Right. Hey. If I can cut across Willie's little golf green, I can really be there fast. Oh, I'll right. try and go around so I don't tear up the yoke. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Good, good call. <laughs> good call. Yeah, don't tear I, the grain up. I don't like tearing up. I'd hate for the grounds manager to get on you. <laughs> <laughs> I'd hate to see him choke you out. Yeah. <laughs> Willie, Willie, woo. He's done it before. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's oh, funny. Shoot. Oh, I, yeah, I'm interested. That oh man! Uh, have you caught any big big brim yet or not? Oh yeah, there's a few in there. Yeah, a few in there. But the big copper nose, they ain't gonna be ready till uh, spring. Okay. Yeah. Next spring's gonna. But be. But they eating three times a day. Three times a day. Boy. I got five feeders 
going off three times a day. How's the turtle situation? Man, they, keep they, just, they just keep coming. Oh, just, I, I, I'm fixing to. Uh, somebody told me there was a turtle farm pretty close that would buy those yeah, those red ears. Up there in Collinson. How much do you think they buy them for? Uh, not you ain't going to cover your gas to get there, but at least, they, at least they won't come back. I yeah, mean, it's right I, up there by Wham Break. I could take You think they give me like, what, $10 a piece? Probably more like two. Two? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, but at least you ain't got to worry about them walking back. They buy turtles? Yeah, they they the ones that butcher the turtles for the meat and sell it like all them South Louisiana places for turtle soup. Turtle and, soup. Mm. Um, I've never been into turtle soup. Sauce pecan, turtle sauce, sauce pecan. pecan. Never been yeah. into that either. I just ain't been in hunger yet. <laughs> I, I mean, I understand he's made out of meat, but you know, no, he I gotta be t- fishy. I ain't there yet. I just Willie likes turtle soup. And here, cue all the people in the comments. I thought y'all was real rednecks. Y'all ain't eating turtles. No, sir, we're not. I'm a, I, I'll, I eat frogs. I'll do you one better. I ain't really into frog legs. Well, no, that's like alligator. I just. Yeah. I can't. It's too too tough. It's too tough and. Chewy chicken. A, it, well, it's got a, a, a just a taste I don't care for. Chewy, salty chicken. Yeah. I just, Chewy, it ain't, salty, fishy. It, it ain't no. good. Chicken. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no I just, y'all, you, know, you got to acquire. It like, ain't That's bad. like wine. It, you know? Now, if you want one to make you you a pair of boots out of or something, I get yeah. that. Oh, like, yeah. They make, boots are cool. They make pretty boots. They make mm-hmm. pretty belts. Hold on now. They do to make pretty boots. And if you want to grind the food up and feed it to dogs and cats, I mean, yeah, that's fine. Them. Yeah. Yeah. And they just ain't that good. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's, that's a, because, hey, gators eat dogs and cats. So, hey, that, <laughs> that's a good thing. It's fair. Yeah. It's, it, it's payback time. That's what you put <laughs> yeah. in your grandma's shed. <laughs> What's that, alligator? alligator? Mm. That's right. That's what you put in the shed. And then unlock gator. it. See, now we're going home alone. That's right. Well, but hey. I need a female with a nest in there. That's, that's the it. problem. That's yeah. it. There See, you, you just go. get a male. He's going to yeah. be lazy yeah. over there and just hiss at yeah. him or something. Yeah, he hiss at him. Now, female will nest to get him. Now, she tear him up. Yeah, yeah that's it. Yeah, he come out in little pellet form. Yeah, that's by like the time that, she got done with him. I would that's not want to get in a fight with an alligator. I watched dude. one on the internet the other day. It was a bad day <laughs> for everyone involved. <laughs> the people did not win the fight, but they did get out. Yeah, mm. but they still telling that story. Mm. Look like that old boy on Happy Gilmore. Maybe. Old Chubb. What you laughing over for, Hunter? That's one of your shows? Yeah. Hunter wasn't alive with Happy Gilmore. No, but he strikes me as Adam Sandler guy. I mean, with the sweatpants. <laughs> I mean, you know, we, ain't, we ain't much different. <laughs> Look, you can't defend yourself. I don't know what you're wearing, Hunter. He got a he got a uh, Chewbacca T-shirt on over there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, Chewbacca! <laughs> unbelievable. Yeah. No, that would be man. What? Uh, yeah, they're just there. Ain't nothing aggressive enough for me. A bear. Yeah. Yeah. See, but he'd be in there making racket. Mm-hmm. It needs to be a complete surprise. Like you need a big cat. Problem is a big cat scare me to say, death. A black I panther. No, 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 hey, I they I, don't exist in this I, area. Well, they walk. Uh, it showed a big a big tiger actually yeah. on a beach somewhere. Now see, like and if I had, and he was dragging a big gator. Yeah, you had access. He had killed him. Access to like a leopard. Yeah, I yeah. a tiger. That'd be tight. I mean, tiger's fine too. Call Joe Exotica, get us a tiger, put it in that shed. When he opens that door, oh, his life will never be the same. Hey, and don't feed him for Joe like three Exotic. days. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Is that dude still in jail? Is he in jail? <laughs> you know, that is a trip down memory lane that I'm actually very curious to go down. Where is Joe Exotic now? Oh man, Uh-oh. and I, Carol Baskin. I'm I'm more curious about the ads that are going to pop up. From Joe here on Exotic, out. boys. Yeah. He's in jail in Texas, huh? Carol Baskin. Oh, he's back, isn't he? Yeah, our Canadian producer Brett Beth says, "Remind me, Carol, but they found him. She didn't feed him to the tigers. He wasn't chopped up in a meat grinder and spread all over the farm like Joe said. No, <laughs> you mean Joe wasn't right." Joe Joe seems like he made up a lot of stuff. He ran for president. And, <laughs> oh, he's running for president. Again? <laughs> yeah. March 13th, this year. Oh, Isn't yeah. he in jail? How do you run for president from jail? Well, it's time for us to all endorse our candidate for these upcoming elections. <laughs> That's right. uh, I'm with Joe Exotic. No, I'm not. Um, <laughs> you know what, though? Out of the two options at Joe, he's probably better. He at <laughs> least ran a business. Hey. <laughs> <Of the two laughs> hey, 
of the two Joes, I would give him a shot. Because the it. one that we hey. have now. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that part was making money. You know, he was undercutting some things and feeding people dirty hot dogs. Cutting him. corners, yeah. Yeah. And, and them tigers were eating dirty hot dogs. That's so dirty, dirty hot dogs. Oh, yeah, that's dirty. how Joe Exotic fed all them cats. He went to, like, the grocery store and got all the expired hot dogs for free out of the trash can and yeah, okay. fed them to right. the tigers. Hey. hey, I'm just saying. So, well, Joe Exotic was going to go as a libertarian, but now... He's going as a Democrat, so he don't even know what he's into. Right. <laughs> That's a confused man. I can't man. figure out if he's still in jail or not. Joe and Joe. Unbelievable. I got that oh, t-shirt boy. of Mike the Tiger with Joe Exotic's hair. I need to wear that again. That thing was sweet. 2020 was an interesting time. Right. 2020, boy. Yeah. Yeah. In a year, 2020. Here we go. Oh, yeah. He's scheduled for release on December 27th, 2035. Whoa. 20, so on episode 30, 30. 2000 and episode 2500, I formally request Joe Exotic be on the duck call room. Uh, okay. uh, Although he's pretty old, so. Yeah. Nah. Nah. That's It'd be nice. all right. Uh, I got a gut feeling this podcast ain't going to be around in 2035. <laughs> I don't know. I asked Sire earlier how many years he had left in him. He said he had 20. Hey, I got 20, boy. Well, let's not kid ourselves. 95 year old. As long as that man's in that chair, this thing probably keep rolling. <laughs> he got a shot. And if not, we're going to have to weekend at Bernie's it or something. Yeah, that's right. Uh, you know, <laughs> tie, tie some strings over to his arms. <laughs> hey, Jack. Oh, boy, you know a good taxidermist. Uh, <laughs> oh, it's not taxidermist, baby. No. And the one that Speaking I Speaking of bad taxidermy. <laughs> that's right. Who's that? Bad bad taxidermy. Oh, do we have any more of that bad taxidermy? Uh, well, late, lately all the emails basically consist of Martin's Little Debbie Park that he apparently passed by all the time. And had time. no idea. <laughs> had had no idea. There's was a Little there. Debbie Park. Yeah, it's a playground made yeah. of Little Debbie. Game. But yeah. I'm going back to Chattanooga in the end of September. Right. If you don't think He'll I'm not stop. going to take a picture with That's a right. Christmas tree cake, you got the wrong fella. That's right. I'm I got going. big news for you coming up in the email section. Uh oh, boys. I got what? very big, big news. news coming up. Disturbing, good, bad. Great news. Oh, for you. Well, hey. Very specifically for you for when you go to Chattanooga. Oh, chat. Yeah. I want this life changing news. Life changing. Well, you're going to be sad and you're going to be glad. All at the same time. All right. Hit so Casey it. emails in and Matt. Two people have emailed in. Um, they're from Chickamauga, Georgia. Yeah. Georgia. Well, Matt is. I don't know where Casey was from. The dogs. Um, do you know why they put that little Debbie Park right there? Aren't they based out of Chattanooga? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I knew that. You've been passing by the little Debbie plant. Yeah. This whole time. Yeah, but that's kind of like... And there's a store in the front of it. Now, see, I didn't know that. Where they sell discounted fresh from the bakery, Little Debbie's. Oh. And you didn't even know it. And you didn't know you've been, it. You've been just cruising past it, man. Now, see, I didn't want to go to the factory because I figured there's some of them things that are better left a mystery. Like, I didn't need to go see the 500-gallon tanker of sugar getting dumped in there. <laughs> but... Ooh. The fact that they have a small store where I can buy Little Debbie's and most likely paraphernalia of Little Debbie, <laughs> paraphernalia. I'm very interested in. So, okay, all right. I just yeah. had. To, I, I knew. Not... Th I knew they were based out of there, and I knew that's why the park went there. But like, Brown. there's a store right there by the Brown park. Brown, okay, versus Red Hot Dogs. Uh oh. Okay. What's the, what's the difference? He's. <laughs> Hey. Oh, the oh, red ones are red way hot dogs better. are way better. Red ones are the way ones better. That pop. All right, Davis from Mount Olive. Yeah, the North ones Carolina. that pop. Wilson's weenies. Yeah, yeah, Wilson weenies. Wilson weenies. He says, yeah. uh, bright red hot dogs are miles ahead of brown hot dogs. Oh, they are. Okay. There you go. There you go. Hey, hey, I was I, that size. Hey. Size reading the emails today. There's your proof right there. Size says it. Out. Low key like hot dogs, but you know you don't like hot. dogs? No, I do. Oh, that's what I'm saying. Who doesn't like hot dogs? Now these people that are on a platform of yeah. some sort of like, oh, I ain't eating that. I'm like, yeah, whatever. I still eat Vienna <laughs> sausage. So well, that we I draw a line at a certain point of uh, weird uh, texture. It's a texture thing for you, huh? What are those at weird 
discount sausage. There's, I guess that's what we yeah. can call it. A conglomeration of meat. <laughs> yeah. No. Buying a sausage it depends on the scenario. Oh, I don't want to open There's it up one. while I've got ribeye in my refrigerator and no. eat it. Oh. If I'm in a duck blind and I'm hungry. Or on a tractor. Yeah. Or in your boat. Yeah. 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 I got weight to lose. I'll starve. And don't <laughs> and don't make uh, uh, pigs in the blanket and bring them to house church <laughs> buying a sausage. Who did that? Oh. Yeah. I probably don't want them, though. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> My and a sausage. Oh, boy. that's an old one. No, there, you, you remember that? I've told that oh, story many times. That's my specialty. Oh, my and it's in a blanket. Yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. No, my and a belong in a can. That's right. He don't right. belong nowhere else. Oh, that's right. That's yeah. I mean, because crescent rolls are good, man. Yeah, and you don't want to pollute them with that. At least, <laughs> use, <laughs> at least yeah. use like a Hillshire Little Smoky or something. Oh, like, right. You know, oh. that. Or you know, I've put my kids love little smokies in a blanket. My favorite, my favorite time. is putting that Kaneka in there, that little thin sausage. Oh yeah, that's good. Mm. That, that's, that's a, a good one. That's for, a greasy sausage. Oh, yeah. and that that crescent roll soak it up. But oh, yeah, yeah. Why are crescent rolls so good? Well, because they got to be terrible for us at some level. Oh, yeah. My grandmother makes homemade crescent rolls. Okay, I'm oh, interested ooh. in that. They are so good. Homemade crescent rolls. Oh, yeah, that's the one thing the French life. got right is the crescent slash croissant, all that stuff. The the French folks got that one they nailed him mm -hmm. we went down memory lane last night at my parents house we were all over there eating and my sister made a butter cake which is a pretty simple thing uh-huh my mama used to always make my dad this this is gonna blow your mind because it sounds so good my dad said his mom would make a chocolate cake just a standard rig chocolate cake in a pan but they didn't have icing so she'd just cut it in half and put butter in the middle of it like it was a roll and i'm supremely interested in what that tastes like <laughs> and how does that old, not sound and really how good? old is she she's uh oh she's probably 90 now That's no right. 89 i think yeah. yeah and running from the law i love yeah. it yeah You're doing all right <laughs> yeah. nothing wrong running with from the cops boys <laughs> that's how i've decided to live my life mm. everybody talks about how much popeyes my granddaddy used to eat he made it to 85 when w yeah that's a w there like thank you all that preservatives they just preserving you Thank you. Right, been right. I've been saying for I mean, years. Unbelievable. <laughs> I might draw the line at gummy worms, but mm, I've yeah. been eating. The, I had a pack of them. It's terrible for me. I said, but they they're so good. I'm sorry. <laughs> a, now I, I'm, I digress. I'm just I'm lose. I'm gonna lose weight, people. I may be in a sausage and a crescent roll. Can we say? Nah. Okay. Dude. <laughs> but we both know. <laughs> Let's do it, Martin. All right, we're back. Hello, H-E-L-L-O, at duckcallroom.com. That's the inbox that Johnny D's reading from. So, look, I get, I get messages on Instagram all the time saying I can't figure out the email. Hello. At duckcallroom. At duckcallroom.com. Not that I'll still read the Instagram messages, but, like, it's we've gotten a lot over, easier here. We've gotten over 16,000 emails in the lifetime of this show. 16,000. Whoa. I've mm. only deleted like seven. Whoop, some whoop. of them been all from the same guy. Some of them been romance. <laughs> some of them have been food. Some of them have been. Some of them get heavy quick. Yeah. I don't know what wow. to do about that. But them. what's in there today? Right, Wyatt. <laughs> Wyatt emails in. He lives in Gina, Louisiana. Uh -oh. And Wyatt, we are from West Monroe and we are educated on where Gina is, but he gives a full dissertation on how to find Gina on a map. But we got it, man. Yeah. The metropolis to, of Gina is well known around here. Go to Catahoula Lake and. Get to looking. <laughs> it ain't far. <laughs> but so so he's a young man from Louisiana. We've all been there. Um, and he's about to graduate uh, high school and needs to know uh, just an opinion from us. ULM? I mean, me and Martin say, yeah. Or Louisiana State University of Alexandria, which I got to be honest, didn't know was a thing. Oh, LSU? Yeah. 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 I didn't know it was a that thing. That depends on what he wants to do. That's yeah. a good point. Yeah. I mean, uh, what do you want to do with your life? What? Both are a step up from Gina, so. <laughs> no, hey, the metropolis of Gina is awesome. I mean, I'm just saying, both both have Chick Fil A, so I mean, I really whatever you're gonna figure out which one, what what you're gonna major in, and which school has a better program, and go there. You're not all right. Let's just be honest. You don't know what you're going to major in at that age. No, but there may be something that you're interested in. Yeah, now, you odds are there. you're going to get there and be like, ah, that, that ain't for me. But like, figure out which one of those. Like, 
I'd change I mean, I, don't, I went to ULM not for any other reason than they offered me the most money. So I compared scholarship offers. I compared everything. And when it got down between La Tech and ULM, I was making significantly more money and not spending it in gas at ULM. So I said, let's go Warhawks. Go. Like mine was strictly a business decision. It was new. Yeah. We were newly the Warhawks. We were new Warhawks, yeah. But I was a Warhawk. Did you know that Stan Humphreys used to be the quarterback at ULM? Watch this. Did you know my eighth grade basketball coach was Stan Humphreys? I thought he was the girls' coach. He is now. Okay. He dominates. That my eighth grade basketball coach was a Super Bowl quarterback. There you go. There you go. It was awesome. That's big time. He was a good coach. And now he just dominates. And now he's a girls' basketball coach and just dominates. He's a good coach. He's smart. Yeah. And one time, you want to hear a funny story? My buddy was telling me he didn't have it anymore. And he said, all right, catch this football. My buddy was a receiver. He ended up like going to Tennessee to play receiver. Now, we're in junior high at this point. Stan caught him right here. Ooh. With the football, he tried to catch it through the hands. <laughs> Brett Favre went down. It was hilarious. Hmm. So don't ever – if you ever run across a man that's played in the Super Bowl, he probably can still throw a football pretty hard. Yeah, he can probably well, still spin that. it. Yeah. That was the lesson we learned that day. So did we help him with ULM or LSU? I have Not really. no idea. Both got Dairy Queens now. Yeah. I think Alexandria still got BJ's Pizza, though, so that's kind of tight. All right. Well, let's just head up to Glenburn, Maine. Do you know Maine. anybody from Maine? Maine. No, but it sounds cold. Well, I've spoken in Maine before. You, I've never been to Maine. Mm. Trout. Well, Ashton works at a golf course in Maine. I don't know how that works. Oh, well, trout. I, what is that, three months a year? Yeah. Trout fishing. Is there trout fishing in Maine? Maine? Oh, yeah. I don't know. I figured he was I've looking been to at Maine. a picture. You've been to Maine? Yes, sir, I have. Yeah, I, I was ate. stationed at Massachusetts, and I went up to Maine to trout fish. Oh, I ate lobsters right there off the boat. I oh, thought that was oh, cool. You know, lobster everything right you out see the is boat, Maine boy. lobster. So. Yep. I've Maine ordered lobster. lobsters from Maine. Okay. Oh, and had them overnight. I have them overnight. Ooh, mm -hmm. overnight. That's the only thing I've ever done in Maine. Anyway, it seems like a cool place. It is. Yeah, not Beautiful a lot of country. Not Beautiful a lot country. of people up there, and they got moose. Yeah, moose. Moose are the coolest. And trout. Moose are up there on my animal list. Yeah, that's where we landed when we flew back from Afghanistan. Maine? In Maine. Huh. And there was a line of people that, that lived in, uh, I think, Bagger, Maine is where we landed. There was a line of people just waiting to shake everybody's hands when they got off the plane. Just people that live there that appreciate That's yeah. really that's pretty cool. That yeah, seems like. That was cool. I will say that seems yeah. out of the way, though. Yeah. Man. Am I from Afghanistan? Yeah. Well, we, actually, we, actually, that was from Germany. I oh, think, okay. Actually. That's a little more. I got yeah. Because they just basically go to North Pole and come this up. This is going to become a down. geography yeah. lesson just like Gina was. Yeah. Um, oh. Anyway, Ashton. Fly over the top of this flat place. Go ahead. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh, birds aren't real. Okay, wow. Ashton from Glenburn, Maine, said he needs some help with a girl. <laughs> He's 17. Going is he 17? He sent me a message on Instagram. Did he? Yeah. Okay. Okay. And they've been on and all. Yeah, off. you yeah. know the story. Yeah, I read it. Oh, so this man on. desperately Boy, needs help. Yeah. Um. Look, here's the deal. On again, off again. He doesn't know what to do because last time he said, no, we're yeah. off again for good. Now he uh -huh. kind of regrets that. Uh -oh. yeah. What should I do? Side note, mom and sister, not really into her. Yeah. I remember reading it thinking, man, that poor girl ain't your security blanket, big dog. Either you're in or you're out. Either you're and, in. And figure it out. Her her emotions ain't worth playing with. So she's a human too. So either you really like her and you want to do something, or you don't, but don't be like, oh, man, somebody else may like her, so now I like her again. That ain't fair to her. Ain't fair to her. Ain't fair to you. Make up your mind. Choose one. And move on. Be a man. Mm -hmm. You're 17. It's time to figure it out. Make a choice and live with it, whichever way you go. Man. I'm just saying. Martin's like, spitting truth and fact. Well, right. I mean <laughs> – that on again, off again. We all went to school with people that was like that. That's right. Mm -hmm. Like can't make up a mind. Knowing good and well when they got out there in the free world after high school, it wasn't going to be. So just let it be. Hey, like be convicted. Yeah, make a choice. Make, make a choice. Make a choice. What's up with hey. people that can't make choices? Hey. Make a choice and then body slammer. It's the <laughs> biggest it. argument in my house is every other night. What do you want to eat? That's right. Oh my Nobody God. make a choice. Yeah, make a choice. I yeah. make choices. And then when I end, well. And then she don't like them. Yeah. Uh, if she <laughs> asks me what I want to eat, I immediately say Captain D's. And then she all of a sudden cares. <laughs> I thought you said you didn't care. That's why I want to go to Captain D's. It's right, right. low key, Captain D's legit. Why well, is it even... like that? Look, I narrowed it down to two places the other day. <laughs> and I said, 
You got two choices. You pick. No. Where you want to go? I was like, you got two places. You pick. Couldn't do it. What were the where two you want to go? You pick. What were the two places? Alex Latin. Okay. And uh, El Paso. Both delicious. Both solid. Both solid. Yeah. Not a problem with either. I'd go to either one. Yeah. See, but I just don't like saying. Depending on how but hungry she I refused was. Where do you, to make a choice. But if your wife you going make a out choice. there sourdough uh, pizza, why y'all eat anywhere else uh, other than home? Because you really posted that picture on Instagram the other night. Mm. That woman can make a pizza. That. You know what we did? She yeah. made three of them, and then the next day she put one in the fridge, and we cooked it again, heated uh, it back up. It was a little crunchier the next day. A little post-church lunch pizza. Unbelievable. Ooh. Oh, speaking of that, have y'all ate at the new place you know, at the light? Where you turn and go by the mill, a uh, Mexican joint. Light and go by the mm, mill. Well, I, I got a rule. I don't eat nowhere in Balkanville. <laughs> well, I'm just saying that it's a new deal, so I don't. Uh, you know, which one's he talking? I figured. I figured y'all would have tried know. it since you like Mexican food. No, I love. Mexican. Yeah, it might be good. Who knows? Yeah. I, don't know. I, I ain't I don't seen know it. Yeah, I don't. I don't travel yeah. that way often. But if it's by the mill, second night, second night. And take a right, and it's down there on the left. And a third Second on. light, take a right, yeah. down there on the left. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, if you see a guy down there peddling a bicycle with a bandana over his face, run him in the ditch. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> <So>. Hey, <laughs> bicycles are becoming very, uh, what? Uh, Where are we? I don't know, but we're like an hour and a half. Right. This is, yeah. Uh, All right. Hunter, you choose. Bicycles are coming of what? Who yeah. knows what yeah. y'all just heard, but I'm going to tell you this. Isaiah 26, 4, trust in the Lord forever, for the Lord, the Lord himself is the rock Not eternal. eternal. That's just a good one. Amen. And hey, we'll leave you with that.